there's my full information. Uh, thank you all for coming out and, and listening to us. Um, hopefully we can make it very enjoyable for you, um, truth be told. I took half the day off yesterday, a client. Hopefully you guys will become clients. And uh, one bought me a free round of golf over at his country club. And that came with unlimited beer. So uh, I have a bit of a slight hangover, so forgive me. Uh, Let's start off. So this is what we're going to be talking about. Please, I like to make it interactive. And although you can't see me, um, just if you type in any questions, we'll get to it. Um, and I'll try to in incorporate that into the slideshow. Um, I try to do my best not to read everything. I hate that. So um, here's what we're going to be talking about. The biggest thing that I want you guys to take away from this is this. And this, is, this to me, is the most vital thing. I'm through Anajet, we are allowing you to come into a non-competitive market. Okay? We don't compete against screen printing. There's very little overlay. Um, but that's been the historic way of apparel design. We, our clients, do not compete against screen printers. Okay? Screen printers actually become their clients. And you're walking into something. Some of you guys may have known about Anajet since we've been around since 2005, 2006. Uh, some of you are just hearing about us now. We are an absolute beast in this space. And um, just because of the laws of supply and demand is why I want you guys to be involved in this. So moving on to the next slideshow. Kind of going into what I just said. Um, our digital apparel printers are going to be the future. Right now, our, our fastest printer, which is the Empower 10i series, it can do about 100 lights, light t-shirts an hour. Screen printers, if you buy the big um, you know, eight station machines, you could completely blow us out of the water. But we're getting there. And we will be there very soon. Um, so our printers allow you to go after not only apparel, promotional products. Um, you, know, you can print on wood, glass, metal, and all the other good things. And I'll show you that in the future. But the big thing that I want you guys to understand is, as well is technology, digital. It, this is what apparel design has to go to. And it's going to be through the Anajet machines, hopefully. Um, right now, screen printers, if you guys are involved in screen printing, many of you guys are fighting over nickels and pennies and dollars worth of profits over t-shirts. And the reason is because you know, there's 50 people in a square mile that are doing the same thing. Half of them don't pay taxes, and they run it out of their garage. That's, it's just, again, the law of supply and demand. This is where it's going. You know, it's, it, If you have too many people in a space competing over one job, it's very difficult. Come involved. Get involved with technology. Come to where everyone is migrating towards. The really smart people are taking um, this idea of digital apparel design. And they're taking it to really awesome places, and they're making a ton of money while they're doing it. Um, many of you know this. Garment decoration is $44 billion and growing. The part that is actually growing exponentially is this digital, uber-personalized, one-off design. Um, we are leading that. So if you guys read through this, this is kind of the stuff that um, many of you guys are running into, right? Um, production equipment being really costly. Um, you know, if, if, if any of you guys have done screen printing or heat transfers or um, whatever is available to you, you understand how much work is involved just to get one or two t-shirts done. Um, it's so simple on an, on an Anajet and on these digital equipments that um, it's, it's mind-boggling. I mean, just to let you guys know where I come from. Uh, I was born and raised out here in Southern California. Uh, my parents immigrated from South Korea. And my dad had three choices when he got here, just like the other South Korean immigrants. You opened up a liquor store, you opened up a, uh, a dry cleaners, or you essentially opened up um, a sew and cut screen print operations. My dad chose the latter. And he grinded, I'm talking eight days a week, bell to bell, trying to provide for his family. And he did it for 22 years. And near the end, there were so many factories, there were so many people 
uh, involved in, in fulfillment that, you know, I was his cheap labor. I went and drove with my dad in a blue Volvo every Saturday morning with my older brother, and we were his free labor. And I remember swiping screens and cleaning screens and being covered in white ink and having to wear a mask and being covered in glitter, you know, and it brings back nightmares. But that method has not changed. It's very archaic, and it's what people are accustomed to. Why not use the digital technology we have now to, to get a bigger market share? You know, this last thing is really important, too, on here. Lead times, ship times, fast fulfillment. You can produce T-shirts on the fly and have them ready for pickup or delivery in hours, sometimes in minutes. That's the beauty of our machines, and I'll try to illustrate that um, verbally as we get uh, near the end of the slideshow. So reading all through this, guys, um, the thing that really stands out to me, someone who is a, an entrepreneur, someone who, who understands business and P&Ls, predictable profit margins up to 75%. Let's just focus on that, okay? So I want everyone to just visualize something. Um, some of you have kids, some of you have custom cars, some of you have something that's important to you. A funny slogan t-shirt, whatever, just, just think about this for a second. If you were to send me an image, the perfect family picture, the, your custom car, just awesome, whatever it might be. If you took that picture with your iPhone and emailed that to me right now, I would literally drag it drop it into the software and click print. The, mach the printer itself, would, the green light would then turn on and I would lay down a white t-shirt on it. Okay? I would click print. It would go into the machine and that full color image would then come out. Let's talk about the really pragmatic things here. A t-shirt costs each of you, whether you're starting off or whether you're a seasoned veteran, a white t-shirt costs what you guys, a dollar, two dollars maybe? You know, some of the bigger guys get a lot cheaper, but let's say it's two bucks. The ink on for that custom car, the max you're ever going to use on a white t-shirt is maybe a dollar, and that's, I'm talking 14 by 18. It's usually going to be about 50 cents, and the printer will tell you. So I just created a shirt, all inflated cost, let's say it's three dollars. Each of you would pay me for that wonderful portrait on a t-shirt or you know, you can print on canvas. I could literally make you a portrait. I could do it on a mouse pad, whatever you guys want. What would you pay me for that shirt? I would, I would say that someone would pay me $20, $25. Let's say it's $20. Worst case scenario, I just made $17 off of you. $17 off of you, and you were happy to pay it. The margins are unbelievable with this machine, and it's one picture at a time. So all I would do is the next person that would want that T-shirt off this webinar, I would just drag it and drop it, drag it and drop it, and keep queuing up the machine. If you bought our middle-of-the-road printer, the Empower 5, you could easily do 50 to 60 of those T-shirts, full color, all day long. You could print on socks and on hats and shirts and jeans and everything, but let's just say, you do 50 t-shirts on an average margin of $17 per item printed. I'm making on average of $850 an hour. $850, not a week, an hour. Um, so the margins at 75%, you know, you're considering some, some fulfillment as well, so you'd have to middle it and do some contract jobs. Your margins aren't going to be $17 at $25. But yeah, absolutely take those jobs as well because our printer will print just about anything, and it's your business model that you would uh, that that is important. So if you if you want to do contract printing, absolutely, you're not going to make eight hundred fifty dollars an hour. You'll probably make five or six hundred, but that's not bad. And then if you go full retail and you want to be like Zazzle and Cafe Press and charge super high margins, please go for it. The market is set, meaning parameters, the bar has been set at customized Uber personalized apparel is selling anywhere between $25 to $40, and we can prove that. Easy to learn and use. <laughs> Over 60 to 70 percent of all of our printers are still being run out of second bedrooms and or garages. So it's, um, the, the printers are engineered to be small. They'll fit through hallways. 
Um, I actually had a customer who was printing uh, next to a crib, his, his child. He didn't have enough space in his apartment, so it was quiet enough. It doesn't give off any fumes, and he ran it in his kid's uh, room. I think one of the really cool things and something that we like to help you out with, you know, I'm a regional sales manager. Um, the relationship really starts after you guys buy a printer, and it goes the same way with all of the guys here. But um, all we do for a living is we talk to you guys. We help, whether it's through pricing or through, in, through just the best practices that we know. We want you guys to make a ton of money because Although there's no commission person on ink, and I don't care if you guys buy service contracts or have warranties, it doesn't affect my pay. But in the end, I'm trying to get you guys to own two to six, seven printers. Um, that's when it becomes a lot of fun, and that's when not only you're printing $17 um, every shirt, you can do that times five, which is really cool. Um, but one of the really cool things here that I like is sample shirts. I have people that walk out uh, with t-shirts and they're throwaway shirts or marketing devices but no one throws away a t-shirt which is really cool but all you do is have your company name on it with a, your logo here no minimum orders no minimum orders unlimited colors call or email me here that's literally what you print onto that shirt and you walk into five seven businesses a day and just give away a shirt it's, it's not three dollars it's two dollars total cost, everything said and done. Give away these awesome things that no one's going to throw away, and they'll order from you. There's some really awesome stories that I could share with you guys, but um, that's at a later date. But we have people that do that, and they their phones are full of voicemails by the time they even pull back into their driveway. And they're, again, dragging and dropping logos and quoting, quoting out jobs right there on the spot and delivering the next day. There is no screen printer in the world that would even effort to do that. That would absolutely kill you. So just think about that. Your Facebook clients, your family, where you currently work, your local screen printers, all those jobs are saying no to. Don't let these customers jump online and, and type in custom t-shirts or no minimum order t-shirts. Guess what's going to pop up? Cafe Press, Zazzle, OO Shirts. Custom Ink, all these big boys that, that run, you know, warehouses of our equipment. Don't let them, why don't you guys make that money first? 90 days to pay off? Um, I think it's, uh, I think we're, we're being a little bit generous. No, I think we're, we're doing a little bit of a disservice here. Um, I can tell you from my clients and for people that are on this webinar, uh, wow, we have a lot of you. Um, some of you guys have maybe heard my pitch or seen me at a show. Um, and I tell this story. I have a full spectrum of clients. I have people that make twenty, thirty thousand dollars annually because it's a part-time job. It's fun for them, whatever it might be. They don't market. That's probably the biggest thing. It does this. This printer, whether it's an Empower Five or an Empower Ten, does not come with a phone jack. You have to make phone calls. But irregardless of that, I have people that make. 30, 40,000, and then I have big boys that make, still running out of their homes, half a million, $700,000, and I've seen their W-2s. Then, of course, we have the big companies that some are now publicly traded, and um, some of them are multi-million dollar. You know, and we, we met these people when they were first starting off with a concept of, I just want to provide one or two t-shirts to a client, full color. How do we do that? And they teamed up with Anajet, and now you know they have private jets. But a 90-day payoff, it depends. Yes, I've had people pay off their printer in four days. I've had people that still haven't paid off their printer. I don't know. It all depends on your drive. It all depends on how you decide to market. And uh, you know, it, truth be told, you guys want to do both contract printing, which is wholesale, as well as full retail. Um, third party, just showing you who, who we are, guys. We're the biggest players here. I, I compare Anajet up there with Tesla. I compare Anajet up there when the Prius first got out. And out here in California, that's what every single person drives. 
Um, we are the biggest, the baddest. We are the best at what we do, and this is all we do. So Anajet was conceived on a card table between our head engineer, who's still with the company, and the CEO of the company, the founder of the company. They, in turn, took apart a printer, a paper printer, and created the first beta Anajet machine. And it's improved ever since then. I don't, again, I don't sell warranties. I don't sell ink. Um, we don't make heat presses here. All we do, this entire $50 million company, is based on making you guys successful and taking over this market. And eventually, we will uh, take over uh, screen printing. So please, diversify if you are. I'm not trying to scare you. I'm just telling you the direction of the market. Um, we are Apple iPhone. We revolutionized this antiquated space. Um, let, let me just go back to this real quick, guys. Okay, so let's just do the North American share. Um, some of these guys you've heard of, some of them you haven't. The majority of them are modified Epson paper printers, um, and Epson has just entered our space. They haven't shipped yet. They've been threatening to ship, and we want to see their printer active and work, but no. Um, they're still having some issues. This is a very difficult space. Um, just to bring it down to levels that maybe is easier to understand, it's very difficult to get textile ink to shoot out of a printer and get the combination to work well. It's very difficult. And Epson has been trying to do this for a long time. Some of you have heard of Brother. They've been trying with, uh, you know, as, you know they've, they've tried to reverse engineer some of our stuff. It's just very difficult. Um, you know, our engineering team is probably bigger than their entire um, dedicated force to to direct a garment. It's a small pimple of this overall humongous ink distribution international company. Um, but we enjoy that they're coming into our space and trying to compete. So what I was getting to is the majority of these people will now become um, Epson distributors because they're not going to be able to sell their own modified Epsons anymore. Uh, and conversely, um, the majority of them will be uh, out of business. Uh, here's the cool thing. Our RIP software is so awesome, so easy that a sales guy can use it. If any of you have met me out at a trade show, I set up that machine. I drag and drop images. I usually have images saved on to a, onto the machine or onto a, um, a flash drive, but nonetheless, it's drag and drop. Uh, we offer free training for perpetuity, guys. So every other Friday here at Anajet headquarters, you guys can fly out here Friday from 9 o'clock to about 4 o'clock. You learn everything, maintenance, software, printer, different substrates. Um, and you get to burn all our shirts and all of our ink. It's well worth it. Um, the trainer is a seasoned Anajet user, sometimes a tech support guy. And they know the inside and outside of that printer. And they share full knowledge with you. Uh, it's awesome. And it's absolutely free. As your company grows and expands, just keep sending over your employees, and we'll train them for absolutely free. Um, so that was about the, the fast learning curve. It's super fast. Um, fast turnarounds. Again, the Empower 10 is an absolute beast. And it can do almost 100 t-shirts an hour. Um, customize and personalize, absolutely, guys. Anything you want. My last thing that I did is I printed it on a, a cigar box. It was a picture of my brother who had just had his new baby, Skylar. Him, Skylar, my nephew, Brandon, and my sister-in-law, Jeannie. Just took a picture, dragged it into our software, put a cigar box down on top of the table, did a height adjustment, and it went through and printed on it. I let it dry, clear-coated it. There's some really cool stuff that you can do with our printers, but that personalized cigar box meant more to my brother, who doesn't smoke cigars, but you know it's all symbolic, of course, but it meant more to him than any other gift that he got. Fatter margins is really cool, too, right? So if you were to call some of our bigger players, and some of them we have non-disclosure non agreements with, so I can't really go into it, but I would say 9 out of 10, if not 10 out of 10, of the large multi-million dollar fulfillment companies that are online own 
warehouses full of our printers. Um, I will tell you a little bit about their business model, which is screen printers absolutely have helped these guys become massive. And I'm talking massive. Um, again, I'm a client now, okay? I want a picture of my of my newborn daughter, or again, my car, whatever it might be, or just my funny logo at the time. Um, I want that to go onto uh, a t-shirt. There's no screen printer in the world that'll do that for me. Maybe they could somehow get the colors to work or whatever it might be, but it would take them 80 screens, 100 screens, and I just want one. We actually quoted out one of our sample t-shirts to a local screen printer here, and he literally said, if you wanted me to make one shirt, uh, that would co and it's a white t-shirt, he said, I would charge you about $800. And I couldn't have that done for you anytime soon. Everything said and done, it was a $1.75 t-shirt for us, including the ink. So this client now, okay, so Eugene Lee wants to order this t-shirt. I go to my screen printer, he can't do it. I go to the screen printer, he can't do it. They're asking me to dummy down the image. One or two colors, please. You know, and you have to order a minimum. I don't want to do that. Eventually, me being savvy, being a 35-year-old in this technology era, I would just jump onto Google and I would type in, you know, custom T-shirt. Again, all these guys will pop up. I'll drag my image, drop it into their design studio, click print. I'll wait five days. Their average ticket's about $40 with 1.56 printed apparels, pillowcases, T-shirts, everything. 1.56 is the, the average order. Their average ticket is $40, $40, excluding shipping and handling. So I just got charged $25 for a T-shirt that cost them all of maybe, maybe a dollar to produce. So again, going back to the margins, now they have my information, which is the most vital thing, right? It's all about um, getting as many users, of course. And now they're going to bombard me. They'll take all their screen printing stuff, mugs, glasses, the sublimation things as well, and then they're going to just market me every single day to buy this product or think about this product. And they do a very good job of it. So now they're squeezing more on the screen printers because they can fulfill those order, orders very cheaply. And, but their main margin, their main revenue stream is, of course, our you know, warehouse full of printers that run uh, three eight-hour shifts seven days a week, sincerely. So this is all the stuff. It, uh, you know, I think embroiderers have their place for sure. But, yeah, I, I played golf yesterday, and I had a, a logo, and I thought about it, and I looked down, and it was embroidered. Certain things should be embroidered, of course, and I feel like hats sh should too, but there's also a, a portion of embroiderers that are listening in on this, this call. Many of you understand that it's, uh, you're asked for different product lines, and this machine will essentially be an all-in-one for you and a great piece of equipment. Um, what stands out to me here is this, lead times. I could literally have, and it, I've done this before, I had 40 t-shirts printed front and back. Me and uh, one of the guys that do the sample t-shirts, if you guys haven't had a sample t-shirt, let me know at the end and we'll get your regional manager to get you out one. But uh, it took me all of an hour, front and back, full color, and it was for a big corporation that I'm not allowed to say their name, and it was their board of directors meeting. Uh, and they just wore these really cool t-shirts that no one else could do, and I got it to them uh, the next day, and they're way out there in Chicago. So remember, opposite of screen printing. Full color. We want you guys to have 16 million color combinations on one t-shirt, no minimum orders. But what that equates to what that technology, uh, why we want you to have that opportunity is for one thing, for high margins. These clients have been told no so many times that that shirt cannot be done, that they're willing to pay at least an arm, maybe not a leg for that t-shirt. So again, $20, $30 for a t-shirt. And if you think about that empathetically as a consumer, you'll realize that yes, that is true. Um, so we're, you know, you guys, we've been around since 2006. Um, conception was about 2005. All the, the engineering and all the due diligence was, you know, no one was getting paid. It was just a bunch of money being invested. Uh, and here we are now, 2014, okay? And the Empower has just been launched uh, in early 2012. 
and you guys are hearing about us now. But we've been doing this for a long time, and you know we barely have. Even though, yeah, we sell a lot of printers and we're a fifty million dollar company, we still haven't been in every single screen print shop or every embroidery shop. Or, um, we haven't we haven't had um, this the publicity that we really want. We were invited by Ford and SEMA. That was the recent trade show out there. I believe it was in Detroit, and Ford invited us not to buy our printers, but they saw the draw of it. And so what you guys are seeing in the top left corner are people are waiting in line, typing in their information, and picking out a picture. And they were making custom t-shirts on the spot. Next year, I think they're going to bring two MP10s out there just because of the demand. Look at that line. We were the biggest drawer of, of attendees. And it wasn't the cars that were really being cool. It was the fact that these guys can make personalized t-shirts. Their car, their name, and then, of course, Ford's, um, uh, their emblem right there. But it attracted people, and it got people to stay right there. I could send you guys images of people that do uh, barbecue festivals for a huge, um, different type of um, festivals and shows are just amazing custom car shows. The big thing is this. Again, it comes down to money. People are taking pictures or um, showing off that they were at a certain location with our printers and paying anywhere between $20 and $30. It's awesome. Uh, and again, Ford is not a very small company, and they're reaching out to us. And we have a lot of these stories, of course. Um, this is kind of what I think is, is uber cool. Um, one of the people here at Anage that has the best job in the world, they call him an engineer. He's not really an engineer, but, oh gosh, this is being recorded. I shouldn't say that. He's a great engineer. And what he does is he's an applications engineer. So he finds a way of how do we get this printer without changing out any of the ink or doing anything. It's all about pre-treatment and post-treatment. But how do we get this water-based, eco-friendly ink to go onto different substrates? Voila. You can print on wood, again, cigar boxes. Um, that Sierra Nevada sounds really good right now, and that's a piece of glass. I don't know how much glass costs, guys, but that is probably a good 15 cents worth of, of glass. Um, foil technology is awesome. Somehow, we have been, uh, uh, especially out here in the United States, if something's shiny, we're going to pay more. Let me give you the economics behind um, foil print. Foil printing is, is the technology of the perfect combination of white ink and CMYK. At that perfect combination that we're going to train you on, again, free training here at Anajet, is that perfect combination allows the foil to adhere. So let's, let's walk ourselves through the process. I take an image, I drag it, I put a black t-shirt on, I click print on the printer. White underbase first, and it goes back into the printer, and full color comes out. I take that t-shirt. It's going to be slightly wet. You don't want to take it, and I walk right over to my, my heat press machine. On the heat press, before I lay down the, the Teflon foil or the parchment paper on top of it, I just lay a piece of foil down. Okay? It's all of a penny, two pennies, three pennies. Who knows? I then put the parchment paper down, and I clamp it down. And now I'm back at the printer doing the next t-shirt that's queued up. Here's a cool thing. It pops open. I take the t-shirt off. The foil's now stuck to it. When it's cool, I rip it off. And it's nice and shiny and awesome and glittery. And everyone loves it. Again, the economics. That perfect combination of ink is actually less. You dial down the amount of ink. So instead of using, let's say, 80 cents on that dark t-shirt, you're going to use 60 cents. That foil is nominal. It's nothing. But once you rip it off, because it's shiny and beautiful, we are the consumer is going to spend an extra three to five dollars is what Anagen has found. That foil also works as a repellent. So our t-shirts, if you follow the directions of the t-shirt manufacturer, especially dark shirts, inside and out in cold water, you'll get more washes than you would with a screen printer. But because there's foil on top of it, it repels the water, so it actually works longer which means your brand gets stronger because you make a high-quality t-shirt that's going to surpass screen printing by miles. That is really the cool thing, in my opinion, about, um, 
about uh, our technology. Um, but you guys, canvas art, reproductions, we got people that are making a ton of money just doing that. Um, that fish down there is supposed to be 3D printing. They go over that in training, but I don't know how to do it myself. So these are some of the marks that we need penetrated, okay? There's not enough people. Everyone knows what screen printing or everyone's been told one or two colors. If you go in there and you go into local coffee shops, uh, one of my clients got um, a Wells Fargo. I mean, it's, it's endless and it just branches out. It's a spider web effect. Um, I can share an email with them um, uh, that I got from somebody um, and they literally took in a t-shirt to a Wells Fargo to thank them. That's where he would got his money to buy an Empower 5. Um, he took the t-shirt in there saying thank you and he had typed, he got on Google and found Wells Fargo in that branch and he just dropped it. And it was full color, it was beautiful. And gave it to the, I believe it was the loan officer, the, the manager to thank them for allowing him to purchase an Empower. Um, she went, oh, that's so cool. Can, we have something coming up, and you know, screen printer only can't, doesn't want to do all these logos, and there's only 15 guys that work here on the branch, and it's just about this. And he goes, of course. One of the tellers, um, I believe, were his wife was PTA, so he got into that school. Um, another teller's husband was opening up a pizza company. They made orders. And by the time everything was said and done, with a one T-shirt thank you, he acquired four new clients, and that four will create four more, and Facebook and family and friends, it's just exponential. But you've got to do stuff like that, guys, and that was one of the earlier slides, right? I told you, it's all about marketing, it's all about going out there and doing visits, and you will see how great it is. Um, athletic teams is something that I think of in schools, I'm having, I'm going to be doing that in a few years, but um, here's the thing, I always tell my anagetters this. Don't go out after the people in the field, okay? Everyone's going after that business, the uniforms and all that. That's great. Go for it. I mean, you can if you want. Where we make a ton of money, meaning my Anajet clients, is go after the people in the stadium. Go after the people in the stands. Wear your own T-shirt rooting on your daughter that's personalized with her number and a design in the front and a picture of her throwing a, a softball. And just walk around with that and have your business cards ready to go. And you tell people, I'll have that for you right now. Oh, my gosh. It becomes so awesome that you'll definitely, definitely uh, thank me later. So that brings us to the Empower, guys. We are not a huge ink distribution company that's international. We are not publicly traded yet, uh, but we are absolutely the dominant factor. We're the only U.S. manufacturer, we're very proud of that. I'm sitting here in my little office in Southern California, um, and this is where we manufacture by hand these Empower machines. The quality control here is amazing. Um, again, but the tech support, um, the guys that offer training, all this stuff is free for perpetuity. I love that about Anajet. I wouldn't go anywhere else. Um, but again, my main thing is made and supported here in the good old USA. And it's kind of weird how you can get a company to have, you know, become the size that we are, selling two things. And we also have refurbished models, of course, but nonetheless, we have two essential SKUs that make us as big as we are. Um, so, yeah, what separates us? Why, why does, why does uh, our competitors printers spit? Why do they do all these kind of weird things? It's because we have patents and we were proprietary in the space and we made everything awesome, right? Um, that closed loop ink delivery system is what really makes our printers go. Every hour on the hour, the printer will self-maintain itself. You will hear horror stories from people that they need to daily maintain their printers. The printer spits ink into a bucket. Um, they waste thousands of dollars a year just having their printer on because they don't want it to clog. Here's the thing. We use one thing that truly separates us from everybody else. We use 100% stainless steel Rico Gen 4 print heads. Let me say that again. We use 100% stainless steel Rico Gen 4 stainless steel heads. Everyone else out there, with the exception of Corny, but their machines are 
anywhere between three hundred to seven hundred thousand dollars. Three hundred to seven hundred thousand dollars. Everyone else uses plastic printheads. What does that mean? Severe maintenance for sure. But plastic printheads, especially with the introduction of white ink, which is what you need to do dark t-shirts, that white ink just corrodes those printheads all day long. So you have a lifespan of the printheads, and there's nothing you can do about it. But you'll, you know, if you leave the printer alone for more than three or four days, it's clogged. It's done. And then the average lifespan is anywhere between eight to ten months. And every eight to ten months, if you're lucky, you're going to be buying new plastic printheads, $700 to $1,500. Because we use Rico Gen 4s, we are talking about 100 billion, with a big B, actuations and fires. Our maintenance is once a week. I tell you to do maintenance once a day. But let me tell you what the maintenance uh, is. It's wiping off the printheads, cleaning up your maintenance station with a, with a Q-tip that we supply you, and that's it. It'll take you all of three or four minutes. So this Empower I series, guys, we want it to connote what the iPhone is and how that revolutionized everything. Um, it's amazing. It really is. You can hear my voice. Um, you know, this printer is going to absolutely crush everything that's out there. And these are some of the stuff that we've done. So we've grown. We've taken this Empower machine that was launched in 2012, and our engineers have constantly firmware, software upgrades, absolutely things that are free to you, but behind the scenes, they're making things even better. So if that means hardware, they're trying to make it. And we have a 40-hour quality control test. And if anything that we realize is not going well, it goes straight back to the engineering department, and they work on it. And they're always improving these machines, and we're not going to stop. Look at all the stuff that's gotten better. And this is only in two years' time, you know? Um, the super fine mode, the anarip software, and the stuff that I know, guys, it's just awesome. So I, I made the point that mm, our relationship will start once you buy a printer. So I'm, we'll do whatever it takes to get you to that point. Um, but once it's there, this is when it gets fun. So our tech support guys, there's a handful of them. You'll get to know their names. They're here to help you. Um, Setup fees. We're not like the other companies. We're not going to have our a dealer or distributor set it up in your house and you can't move it. You can take it in and out of a box. If you've got a strong friend, you put it on top of a table that's sturdy. You can load the ink. Our, essentially, for the people that don't want to fly out to sunny California, um, what we can do is we can send you the full YouTube video of how to the same training that you would get from 9 to 5. We've condensed it so you can do it. The bad things is you don't get to meet your RM. The bad thing is you don't get to you have to waste your own ink on practice, and the bad thing is you have to you know print on your own t-shirts out here uh, you could do that for absolutely free and again, no set up fees no no come on we don't need to do anything um, there's no service contracts either if you have any issues we'll take it care of you if you need something we can overnight it here from California nothing is coming from overseas. Anarip. Really cool. Um, it's advanced where you can start manipulating single colors. You can essentially just drag and drop, which is the easiest, or you can manipulate here. Um, it's really cool stuff. But uh, this is stuff that we will teach you, so don't let, it, don't let it scare you off. If you've ever, let me, let me give you a pragmatic example. For people that have spoken to me before, you know that I print a ton of t-shirts of my kids, and I print a ton of stuff that's Penguin or the band U2 related, which are my three favorite things in life. Um, I just recently, and I'm staring at the shirt right now, I went on to Google, clicked on images, typed in U2. I went down to the, the picture that I knew had the best resolution because I could tell by the size, and I saved it on my desktop or on the company's desktop. I dragged that image, dropped into the software, and I don't know if you guys can see my mouse, but down here that print button um, it would essentially light up and I'd click print. I would move over to the printer that's connected to the, the PC. I put a white t-shirt down and I'm staring at my shirt right now and I printed out an amazing picture of U2. Really intricate design, 
I'm staring at Bono. Voila. It was eight cents worth of ink. The size is, let me see if I can give you a better idea. It's probably six by 11. Cool. Done. Could I have manipulated the colors? Could I have done, you know, I, could, I can pick out this, the, the, the t-shirt color out? Of course. You learn this all in training, but it's that easy. The only true difference between an Empower 5 and an Empower 10 is speed. The MP5 has three Rico Gen 4 heads. The MP10 has six. So it's just going to get more surface printed um, at a faster time. You have to ask yourself what it is you guys want to do. Um, I rarely print on an MP5 anymore. It's too darn slow for me. But that's probably one of the fast. There's no, our competition can't even hold a candle to an MP5, let alone an MP10. But it's all up to you. Uh, we are actually running really low, very, very low on Empower 5 factory refurb models. Um, we can sell that to you, so call your regional manager. Um, but if you are a Eugene Lee client, you get first dibs because uh, they like me more here. But an MP5, I can't really... We, we, we can get you an MP5 for the high teens, so we're talking um, somewhere in the is seventeen to nineteen thousand dollar range, depending on how many um, accessories you buy. And an Empower Five uh, new one is going to run you in the low twenties. If you guys have the wherewithal, please buy that ASAP this month because um, we're trying to hit record months here. And um, I get more days on the golf course if I hit a record month again. So I, I would personally just buy it now because I want to get market share right away. Um, there's, I, I don't know if some of the people on this phone call um, are my past clients, but I've had people, um, a few come to mind right away that before, when they paid for it and by the time FedEx had delivered it, they were already marketing. They already had jobs lined up and they wanted the printer sooner than later. Um, and if, you know, Christina, if you're on the phone, then get printing. Um, here's, the top, here's all the costs. This is where it's all important. Our gross profit, this slideshow was a little bit outdated, but um, Creative Promotions is uh, a very good company. They're averaging about $13 a shirt. And truth be told, as we talk now, he is no longer doing a lot of contract pinning. He's only retail. He goes straight to the end user, and he's averaging anywhere between $20 to $25 a shirt. Uh, for contract printing for churches and organizations like that, he does give a discount. But on average, if you add everything up, he's making about $13 now. Um, these numbers are real, okay? And what I want to show you, let me go back a few, is this software, when I click print right here, again, the U2 shirt, the next window that pops up is my queue manager, which is telling me, Eugene, that image is going to take this amount of time. It's like 20 seconds, 70 seconds, whatever it might be, and it's going to cost you X amount in ink. So I know what my costs are before I do anything. That's kind of cool. Um, and so again, we keep in touch with you. We want to know, uh, we want to keep selling you ink, of course, but we want you guys uh, to be successful. And so your regional manager will know which machine best suits you. You can always upgrade from a 5 to a 10, of course, but um, we've been selling a lot of 10s now because people are penciling the, these ideas, and it's worth the extra thousands of dollars worth of investment because they don't want to stand behind their printer for um, six hours a day when they could have got that job done in three. Um, this is not unheard of. I just talked to Henry. Henry helped me sell um, actually two printers, or one printer. Um, they make a killing. Henry Landau is, if, if we pulled up a spectrum here, on one, uh, people that are mm, successful, you know, again, the mom and pop shops, he's more on the right-hand side. Very smart business guy. His son does a lot of the work, too, and they just have a killer market right next to a, a good college. Then we have the people that don't do so well, that make, uh, no, when I say don't do so well, they're, they have full-time jobs, they just do it on the side, or they have, do it as a hobby. Again, $25,000, $40,000 hobby people, Henry Landau, this is um, kind of a, a, he's making a lot more than that, let's just say that. Um, Chuck Northcutt's more on the right-hand side of the spectrum, he makes killer money. Um, you can read that. This is, again, a little bit antiquated information. I recently talked to Chuck, uh, and 
he's making a little bit more money. He still runs, I believe he has four or five printers now running out of his basement. Um, and he is living very comfortably. That's what I'm going to say. So if I did that five days a week, it would generate $725,000 in profit. That's not an if statement anymore. So not to go too far, um, and, and I don't want the IRS going after Chuck, but what I'm saying is, is he's genuinely making a ton of money. And maybe that's not the 725, that might be pretty close. Um, cool stuff, right? So screen printers, give me a quote on that, that R&T t-shirt. And I just want five. No way, not going to happen. Um, that 2012 shirts with all the logos, that's not going to happen. And I'll get that to you uh, by 5 o'clock this afternoon. This is what the Empower, this is what Anajet technology, this is what years of engineering gets you guys. And it's awesome. Um, quick quote from Jason Bryan. Jason, if you're on the phone uh, on this um, webinar, thank you. You helped me sell a printer as well. I do owe you. Um, this guy is an absolute stud. And if you guys, we'll, we'll get you guys a copy of this, but if you wanted to jot down those blogs, you can learn about it. Um, um, but these are not people that we pay. Um, these are not people that, you know, you have to understand something. 90% of my clients, and if you guys become my clients, you'll fall into this bracket. 90% of you guys will not give a good testimonial. Meaning, if I, if I sent somebody that was 50 miles away from you and asked them to drive to your house to see your antigen in, in action so that we could go ahead and I could sell them a printer and they just wanted to be see it live, you would not let somebody come. You would talk about how bad the Energet is and how, you know it doesn't make any money and you guys are a bunch of liars. The reason is, is you don't want anyone near you. You don't want to compete and you know you have you've understood that we sell golden gooses that lay golden eggs and you don't want anyone else to to have that around you, which is fine. I get it. But these people that wore the last few slides, they've been in the business for a while and they don't they know that you can't take their market and there's more than enough out there to make money. Upcoming trade shows. Um, we will be in Arlington. Um, Camex Dallas. I don't know if that's going to be a limited invitation. Atlantic City, if you guys want to brave the weather. Um, I won't actually be at any of those, but all of our um, we, we just sell regional sales managers as well as um, uh, a setup person for the booth. So you'll see how easy it is to to set up, and how easy it is for a sales guy from Anajet to print. Um, customer training is down here in Costa Mesa. We're literally five minutes away from John Wayne Airport, is which airport you would want to fly fly into. Um, and there's more webinars, and hopefully it'll be with somebody that. Um, doesn't talk so much. So thanks for listening. Um, so we do have a question and answer. Um, let me see if I can get to that. And there's quite a few so far. Okay. Let me let me just ask away as you go. Um, oh, they made a point that it was SEMA in Las Vegas. Forgive me, it wasn't out in Detroit. Uh, someone was out there. Okay. Um, finance. Uh, we are a manufacturer, but we do work with two lenders, okay? Um, the lenders that we choose, and we chose two of them, have funded millions and millions of dollars worth of antigen machines. Um, if you are two-year season business owners, and you can prove that with tax returns, as well as a corporation, and you have excellent credit, you go to bank number one. There is nobody in the world that can beat this, this bank's pricing. And he is instructed to give away the rate. Okay, that's, that's the privilege. That's your privilege as an Anajet user. It's to his um, financial demise, I guess you could say. We want him to make thin numbers because we want you guys to have the ability to hit the ground running, of course. But the way that it works in, in financing guys is usually these guys, these commercial leasing companies, They'll give me a free iPhone or give me an Amex card or all this stuff. If I send them deals, we don't play that game. We ask for skinny rates, deals funded immediately so that you guys can get the printer. And um, if you, again, qualify for that bank, done. You'll have a printer by Friday. The other one is if you're not completely A-paper, 
we go all the way down to about B paper with um, another bank. They're just as easy. You'll have the printer by Friday. Um, and they offer the most competitive rates as well. And then I just picked up maybe a third printer, or excuse me, a third uh, bank that um, I think is going to have just as good relationships um, and just as good pricing. So we'll do that. And so for the people that keep asking about the that portion of it, absolutely. Contact your regional. If, if you guys um, don't have a regional manager, you can call me directly or email me. I think my my information will be there, so just have a pencil and type ready. Um, <laughs> okay, so here's the thing about, um, um, there's a question about images from the internet. Yeah, you're right. Uh, trademarks, copyrights, I get it. Uh, you know, some major sports teams own our printers. Uh, yeah, they're going to stick their lawyers on you if, if you do it. Uh, let me just tell you what, what, I'm not going to say that I've done, but what some of my clients have done. Uh, recently, Peyton Manning was in the, in the Super Bowl. They created a shirt that came off of uh, one of my clients, big fulfillment company's websites. One of their really smart designers created one that said, uh, hurry, hurry, in a picture of Peyton Manning on it. He was selling it for 30 bucks. <laughs> it was, you know, all said and done, $3 worth of ink and T-shirts. Yeah, did he take and plagiarize this guy's this company's image, yeah, but they're not going to come after them. Um, this keep calm or whatever, the, this, this new t-shirts that are coming on, he created another one that said, keep calm, never mind, hurry, hurry. It's hilarious, hilarious, selling those for $33. Yes, um, are the, if you do too much of it, will you get in trouble? Yes, you will, um, but I haven't heard anything. Um, I, I recently went to, uh, my wife is from USC, she graduated from the University of Southern California. So we went to the USC-UCLA game. I made a t-shirt that I saw someone else wearing. I made it, and it said F-U-C-L-A on it. I thought it was hilarious. The UCLA guys didn't find it so amusing, but is UCLA going to come after me? No, as long as you guys don't tell. Um, multiple printers, yeah, absolutely. Um, you, you absolutely could do that. Please, uh, buy multiple printers from me, and we'll give you a good discount. So contact your regional manager if you can order more than one or more than two. Um, stable for transport. Oh yeah, you kidding me? Um, if you guys are my clients, I'll send you over some pictures of people that run them. Um, it, ideal. We'll start with ideal setup. Trailer, uh, and you're hauling it right, and it's in an enclosed trailer, um, and it's powered by a generator. Absolutely, that's the best. All the way down to weather is good. We're talking about a, t uh, a table that you buy from Costco and a pop-up tent. Yes, with plugged into a wall. But generator, trailer setup is definitely ideal. And absolutely, please go out there. And the next time you guys are at a festival, um, see how many people are there making t-shirts. And even if there are any, see what kind of t-shirts. They're pre-printed, and that's it. Or you can do heat transfers that will last you about a week. Don't do that. Take our printers, go out there, and please make some money. We got people that are barbecue circuit that are just making a killing. So more the merrier. I'd love for you guys to go out there. Um, um, foil samples, yeah. I, you know, I don't know. Um, if you guys would bear with me, I'm going to jump on YouTube, and I'm going to see if we have um, any videos on YouTube in reference to foil printing. So stand by one. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, yeah. It's been done on a sprint, okay? But if you type in Anajet foil print, it's the very first one. You can definitely see that. Um, I'd bring some popcorn because that's being done on an older, on, on an older printer, of course. Um, so let me... There is a lot. If I don't get to your question, please call... Um, An MP5, okay, so one of the questions, really good question, David, is, um, is about the print head. So let's talk about the MP5, MP10. Again, the best way to equate it is an MP10 is a Ferrari with a V12 engine in it, and it's running on 99 octane. The MP5 is the same look, 
Ferrari, same year, make, model, same chassis. It just has a V8 in it, okay? Um, the, the, the MP5 will be the number one direct-to-garment printer sold in, in America, and the, the, the truth of the matter is this, is the MP5, um, because a lot of people are upgrading into the MP10, um, and that's why we have a handful of these refurbished models left, but at our Monday morning meeting just a few days ago, they said we don't even have enough for a two-week supply. So if you are cost-sensitive, which I know a lot of you guys are, we can get you an MP5 refurb. I'm talking, yeah, a substantial amount of money for uh, the majority of the people here in the United States, but we're talking eighteen, twenty thousand dollars $20,000, maybe even a little bit less, depending on the setup that you guys want. But yeah, you, that, you should have your printer paid off. And the person that was asking about the concession business, stuff like that, my, I'm a betting man, okay? So my over-under bet on you is three weeks, maybe. No, you wouldn't need three weeks. $20 shirts, $3 cost, $2 cost literally, $18 an hour. You, you, you'll have your machine print off in hours. Um, print head, oh, sorry, I deviated again. These Rico 100% stainless steel heads, I keep hitting you guys with that. That is what the heart and soul of this printer is. Um, other printers use a plastic one. Imagine an engine in a car being made out of plastic or an engine being made out of stainless steel. There's a reason why they use stainless steel. These have been tested for 100 billion actuations and fires. I have never had anyone replace a Rico printhead yet. Um, our, the machines should run you, we're, we're still testing them of course, but let's see, easily 10, 13 years if you maintain it. It's, I just bought a Lexus, guys. It's like a Lexus, right? It's going to go 200,000 miles as long as I do the maintenance on it. Um, so that was that one. Um, well, there's a lot of so there's a lot of more questions about that. Um, see, I'm done. So I think I I pretty much hit everything so far. Um, if there are any more questions, you can ask away. Wow, there's a lot of you guys on this phone call, on this webinar. So thank you again. Um, Yeah, so thank you. Again, I'm, forgive me, I'm a little too many beers, and you guys obviously can tell I have a little bit of ADD, but what I want you guys to understand from this webinar is this. I believe in my product. I love this. I don't necessarily have to work at Anagen. Um, that's a five-drink conversation, but um, I drive down here 30 miles each way uh, because I love this product. I, I believe it's the future, just like Tesla is the future. And If 3D printing would step up a little bit, it, it, it would be it. But yeah, for those people that don't have um, a regional manager, I'll give you my direct number right now. Uh, my name is Eugene Lee, uh, E-U-G-E-N-E, -E, last name is L-E-E. -E. My direct line here at Anajet is 714-371-9178. If you want to just email me your information uh, and you want some samples, you want literature, my email address is E L E E at anajet, A-N-A-J-E-T dot com. So it's elee at anajet dot com and 714-371-9178. Yes, David, everything is included. The only thing that you would have to buy is t-shirts. Um, all the consumables, a full set of ink, not this Mickey Mouse set of ink, a full set of ink, ready to go, registered software, all of it comes with the printer and then you're done. Um, it, it, let me leave you with this. It's a great business that no one knows about. So be the first. I, I still haven't sold, and you know I'm one of the one of the top guys here. And I'm not saying that to brag. We're all great salespeople here, but I don't even have printers sold in certain states. So please do some homework. Do your due diligence. Realize who we are. Um, team up with us. Let's make a ton of money. Um, I figure we're going to have about 15 years before everyone's going to have a t-shirt printer, just like a paper printer in their home. I really think that way. So let's just try to make as much money as, as we can now. Um, these big fulfillment companies have obviously set the bar. They're charging. Jump on their websites. Go to Cafe Press. Go to Zazzle. Go look them up. They're, they're making 20, 30 bucks off of you guys for every single t-shirt. Let's make that money. You know, uh, Let's build a big business. Let's not compete against 
each other anymore, uh, and let's take this new market and, and run with it. Um, so there's a lot more questions, guys. I'm really sorry. Uh, I, can't, I can't really answer every single one of them, um, but call your regional manager. Let me give you guys our 800 number. If um, you don't have a regional manager, you can call in or you can ask for me. 877-626-2538. Again, Anajet, the secretary, she's really nice. Her name's Jackie. 877 626-2538. My name is Eugene. If you'd like to speak to me directly, I very much thank you for your time. You guys have been nothing but awesome. Um, you all don't talk a lot, so I don't know what's wrong with you, but thank you for the questions, um, and I look forward to a mutually rewarding relationship with each of you. Take good care. Bye-bye.